It's taken a while, but Leicestershire finally got their LV County Championship season underway after the first day with Kent was washed out in Canterbury and they made a decent start thanks to their tail. Leicestershire were put in by Rob Key, but then made a very solid start in the sunshine through their openers, Greg Smith and Matt Boyce. They missed out in the first two rounds of matches, but were finally off and running, and they were running rather nicely as both openers mixed a solid defence with these shots of aggression, as last year's wooden spoon winners made an ideal start with an opening partnership of 50. There were some fine strokes included too, for a side which needs to improve a lot after an extremely disappointing summer of 2013. They lost their first wicket in the 21st over, when Smith on 24 was given out leg before to Darren Stevens. James Treadwell is missing from this game as he tries to sort out his bowling away from the action. He may have snaffled this in the slips as Ned Eckersley had an early life. Eckersley was the one bright spark in Leicestershire's season last year and he would have admired the efforts of Boyce at the other end. The left-hander looked good as he eased his way to a half-centre in the afternoon as his side continued to impress against a Kent attack which was often not threatening. Eckersley helped himself to 32 and by an hour into the afternoon session the visitors were going along very nicely on 131 for one. But Eckersley's dismissal, edging a drive off Mitch Claydon, led to a collapse of sorts for Leicestershire. Boyce, having looked so solid, was surprisingly bowled by Stevens to go for 68, before the bowler struck again in his next over by finding the edge of Josh Cobb's bat. Angus Robson was then LBW to Adam Riley as he tried to turn the spinner to leg after making 15. Nile O'Brien, who made 32, was another leg before decision after seemingly being beaten by the pace of Doug Bollinger while Ben Rain missed a sweep off Riley to also see the dreaded umpire's finger raised. From 131 for one, Leicestershire now found themselves in some trouble on 198 for seven. Six wickets had fallen for 67 runs and another fell 26 runs later when Rob Taylor failed to keep a short ball from Bollinger down, the bowler completing the dismissal himself. So the Kent openers would have been readying themselves to go out to bat, not expecting too much from Anthony Island, even though he got moving with an early six off Riley. Most would have expected Island to try to give as much of the strike back to Jigger Nake, himself not an ultra-talented batsman, but one with a much better record than Island's career batting average of six, with a top score of only 29. Nake chanced his arm from time to time, but the rot had suddenly stopped. Ireland may enjoy watching this next bit. Bollinger has 12 test matches under his belt with Australia, plus 39 ODIs and 6 T20s, and so he would have expected this from a rabbit. Twice Ireland pulled him for maximums as he eased past his career best and near a 50 for the first time in his career. A fourth six took him to the half century mark. It also struck two fours in an innings which was not all about using the long handle. He defended well too, reaching his 50 off 78 deliveries before he remembered that what you do after reaching such a mark is raise your bat to your team. Probably with heart thumping from excitement, Ireland was out next ball as this time he failed to clear the rope and was held in the deep by Ben Harmison, but his 52 had altered the complexion of this day. What made it worse for Kent was that their old boy Charlie Shrek then made 18 not out off 21 balls and along with Nake, who ended the day on 41, he'd taken his side to a respectable 333 for 9, having been 224 for 8 at one point. Kent will hope to be batting very early on day 3.